Hi folks and welcome back to another episode of Fishing Planet. We shall be visiting the Everglades in Florida today that unlocks at level 18 and we shall be fishing for two in-game hours on a partly cloudy day from 5am till 7am and we shall be targeting the unique largemouth bass using spin tackle and bass jigs. So let's take a look at the tackle that we're going to be using today. So the tackle setups that we'll be using today guys uh, the Rivertech Zaus 8 foot 10. My rods are DLC rods. They're by the by. They're just reskin versions. And the reels that I shall be using will be the Rivertech Titan Spin 5500 and the Kraken 8000. And I shall be using the X Series Bash Jigs, one ounce for that setup and one and a half ounce on that setup. And the reason why I use different reels is because of the recovery rate. And because the bass jig on this setup is one and a half ounce, which is slightly heavier obviously than the one ounce, the recovery rate gives me the same kind of retrieve on two speed twitching as what I would have with the one ounce with the Titan spin reel. The two ounce jig I tend to find is a little too heavy and you don't really get a very good presentation from it so I tend to stick more with the one and the one and a half ounce. The advantage of the one and a half ounce and the crack and reel is that you can cast that a little bit further so it gives you that little bit more time in the water to hopefully bring in some nice unique largemouth bass. If you don't have the X-Series bass jigs there are a number of jigs that you can purchase from the global shop. I have a few of them that I've equipped in my inventory here to show you. Ironically though, the only one and a half ounce jigs that are available are the black and blue and the pumpkin melon. Uh, they don't come in any other colours, so you're kind of limited for choice with your one and a half ounces from the global shop. The one ounces, you have the orange brown pepper, you have the acid yellow brown and the green pumpkin. Now the green pumpkin and the orange brown pepper they're locked behind bait coins, they cost eight bait coins for each of them and the acid yellow is actually available for purchase I think they cost just under 800 in game cash although I tend to find of the three there I find the acid yellow brown to be the least effective the orange brown pepper being the most effective in my experience so as I mentioned we shall be fishing for two in game hours on a partly cloudy day you can see that I've already purchased a license so we shall travel Now there are a number of locations that you can catch the unique largemouth bass from here at the Everglades but I'm just going to focus today on one location that I use, it's one that's always produced for me, it's ideal for the tackle setups that I've shown you today and that we'll be using today and that is the spawn point infinity tunnels. So we shall spawn in there and we shall do a spot of fishing. So spawning in. You want to make your way to the end of the jetty to the left and you're going to be fishing down the centre channel and you can see there to the right of the centre channel that I've got a marker that I've laid out and we shall cast to that, it's about 180, 185 foot out and we're going to be using two speed with our drag set at three quarters and we're going to be using a twitch and retrieve and we're into our first fish just a little three pounder good for 225 in game cash and 18 xp so we shall go in the net and we shall cast there you go. lost me rod there you go cast back out to that location
I do tend to find for the Titan Spin 5500 that the uh, one ounce jig is pretty perfect for it. The one and a half ounce, it's a little too heavy. And the two ounce is just way too heavy. I don't tend to use two ounce very often at all. So our second fish. So it's over seven pound trophy, good for 502 in game cash and 63 XP. to another one, just feels like a literally. But they're all money, so and they're great fun fishing, the large mouth bass, they really are. They're just so frequent, you can just keep pulling them in. They're good fun. So uh, five pound trophy, good for three hundred and fifty seven in game cash and forty five XP. Another one for the net. get our line back in the water had a little knock there but no take that's got it this time whoa that feels a bit better So there's our first uni folks, uh, just over £10, good for 725 in game cash and 177 XP. So we caught him in the first 15 in game minutes, so we'll put him in the keep net, and we'll cast back out. Now we'll say folks, you know, given that this waterway unlocks at level 18, the kind of tackle that you're going to be able to get at that level you're going to really struggle to get some of these units uh, for example the rod and reel at level 18 spin tackle wise is the jig winner 7 foot 10 which has got a max test of 12 pound and the reel is the Aspira MLR 2000 which has got test of 11 pound so you can see they're really going to struggle up against some of these big units so realistically you're kind of looking at sort of mid 20s level before you can really start unlocking the equipment that you're going to need to get some of these big boys in unless of course you buy DLC packs which of course are loaded with all you need So we shall start our retrieve again. We had a little knock on it there, but no take. So this time he took it. Which feels like a regular size. That's all money. Yep, just on the three and a half pound, he can go in the net. But you saw there guys, they're jumpers, so you do need to keep your line tight and your rod high. Because you will lose them if you're not careful. And there are a number of locations here at this waterway where you can catch the largemouth unique. It's not just here. And there's a number of methods you can use to catch it as well. You can use bottom tackle, you can use top water lures, I know at night time are very effective. So there's a number of ways that you can go about catching them. Now that guy there we didn't want, but we'll keep him anyway, so he's a bit of money, but he's not our target fish. We had another 
knock there, but no take. The largemouth bass tend to be further out. Anything less than 70 foot and you tend to catch those peacocks. So I tend to just reel in when I get to around the 70 foot mark. Because they're not the fish that we're after. So this just feels like another regular size guy. Just over three pounds. He can go in the net. Get our jig back out into the water. Start our retrieve. I think the largest largemouth uni I've caught is just over thirteen pounds. I think about thirteen and a half pounds. So I don't know whether any of you guys have caught anything bigger than that. Maybe you want to leave a comment in the box, let me know what sort of fish that you get. It's always nice to know what other people catch. So this guy just feels like another regular size. Yeah, just a little four and a half pound trophy, good for 309 in game cash and 39 XP. The bass are certainly much more of a money farm than they are to use to gain rank or level through the XP. They're, they're more about money. And as you can see, you can just pull so many out. It doesn't take very long at all to fill up a net, cash them in, move to the next save, fill up a net, cash them in, move on, rinse and repeat. So another little guy. Get that rod up. Yeah, a little six pound trophy, good for 426 in game cash and 54 XP. We had a little knock there, but no take. There we are. So just three and a half pounder. They can go in the net. So it's snagged. Took a knock, but no take. And another snag. So nothing on that cast. So just a little, just under three pounds, another one for the net. Let's get our lure back in the water. Wonder if we'll catch another second unique in this first hour. I haven't achieved that yet, I've only ever caught the one in the first hour. But I have caught up to three in the second hour. So it'll be interesting to see what we'll catch in the next hour. So 
her into another little regular by the feel of it. Little six and a half pound trophy, good for four hundred and sixty four in game cash and fifty eight XP. So another one. Yeah, a little three pounder. Another one for the net. Get our jig back out into the water and we'll have another go. Feels quite nice. Ah, lovely. Another £10 unique. Good for 740 in game cash and 181 XP. So we'll sling him in the net. That's the first time I've caught two in the first hour. Usually I find the second hour to be far more productive. So it'll be interesting to see what we're going to catch through that second hour. So we'll cast out again folks and start our retrieve. So that's two £10 uniques we've caught in that first hour. That's not too bad. quiet on that cast. So we're now running up to the end of our first in-game hour and I think what I shall do for the second hour is I shall swap rods and I shall utilize the Kraken reel with the one and a half ounce X-series bash jig on it. This gives me further distance with the casting so you your bait's in the water for that little bit longer. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't really make any difference. It's just personal preference, which one you'd rather use. As you saw from this time, we've caught a couple of unis on this setup. So I think we'll switch out. We caught nothing on that cast. So we'll give this one a try. You can see there you're getting sort of just over 220 foot. There is the last tackle setup I was using we were getting about 180, 185. So you're getting a little bit further. Same principle though. Reel on three quarter drag, two speed. But the extra weight of the bash jig here and the extra recovery rate of this reel, they sort of match up quite nicely in the same way as the Titan Spin 5500 with the one ounce does. So this is feeling like a decent fish, folks. Nice trophy. Just over £7.5, 535 in game cash, 67 XP. Chuck him in the net. And 
over to another Just a little, just over three pounds. We'll hang on to him anyway. Too bad for another trophy, I think. Yep, another seven and a half pound trophy. Good for 528 in game cash and 66 XP. That's not bad. So let's uh, get our line back out into the water. take yeah just a little three and a half pound up That's a good fish. Remember to keep that rod up guys and that line tight. They do jump and they do get off. And there's nothing worse than hooking into a decent sized fish and losing it a few foot away from you. Another nice trophy, just over seven pounds. Good for 506 in game cash and 64 XP. Definitely one for the net. And straight into another fish. A little each on the three pounds. But you can see, folks, just by how we've been going, you know, it doesn't take very long at all to fill up a net and then cash it in, move to the next day, and just rinse and repeat. And there's certainly a, a farm fish for money, there's no doubt about it. So this feels like a pretty good fish, too. Possibly a unique, the way it's pulling a little drag there. Well, <laughs> as if. What can I say? Let's try again. I 
took a hit there, but no take. So nothing on that cast. size oh would you adam and Eva and that proves my point exactly as soon as your line goes slack you lose your fish and that's exactly what happened there never mind so we're into another little regular by the looks of it up there got a snag yep I don't think we need to keep that Little four pounder, good for 305 in game cash and 25 XP. Right, no sign of our unis yet. Took a hit there, but no take. Come a little late to the party, but we'll take him anyway. So a little six pound trophy. take again feels like just a little regular sized guy and indeed he is just under three pounds
good guy. Something hit that. Yeah, that's probably our guy. And there he is, folks. Another £10 unique. Good for 736 in game cash and 180 XP. So like I say, you can pick up these units on the hour, each hour, for the first few hours of a partly cloudy day. I tend to find that the evening isn't quite as productive. The morning is certainly the most productive of the two, despite the peaks being the same. But uh, you'll still pick up a unique or two in the evening peak, for sure. And like I say, a sunny day as well, with the one big peak through from sort of lunchtime to early evening. You'll pick them up through that as well. I tend to find that that's quite a good day for them. The cloudy days are my least preferable day to fish here for these fish. So I think that will do, folks. I shall just retrieve this. And we shall take a look just to see what money that those fish did bring us. We've caught £146 in two in-game hours. And we've had a look at the two particular jig weights, the one ounce and the one and a half ounce. And different tackle setups that you can use as well to retrieve them. Like I say, the kit that I use is it's a little overkill really for, for them. You could probably drop down to something like the Loki 7 foot 10, coupled up with the Aspira Double Punch 5500. I think they're sort of mid-30s level unlocks. And that kit will do just fine as well. So you can see there we caught a total quantity of 27 fish that brought us in 9,945 in-game cash and that's without a premium. So just under 10 grand for two in-game hours so that's not too bad. You can see that when you fill up a net and keep rinsing and repeating it doesn't take too long to make some good money. So I think that concludes today's episode folks. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. And I hope you join me next time. So until then, catch you later. Bye for now.